Hello and welcome to this quick tip video. I try to avoid plugins in my workflow as good as I can, but there has been one plugin that I have been using since it came out years ago. It's called Film Convert and converts video footage to look like analog film. Last year, the company that develops Film Convert came out with a new version called Film Convert Nitrate. Final Cut Pro 10 was not amongst the hosts that were initially supported by the plugin. That has changed now. If you're in the market for a film look plugin, stay tuned because this plugin is also available for Avid, Premiere Pro and OpenFX hosts like DaVinci Resolve. Cinity, your digital cinema tech resource. There are a lot of ways to make your video footage look like it has been shot on chemical film. But in my opinion, there is no better way than using Film Convert Nitrate from Rubber Monkey. Let me show you how that works. In Final Cut Pro 10, you add the plugin by coming down here in the effects browser, searching for Nitrate and dragging and dropping the plugin on the shot. Up here, the Film Convert Nitrate section gets added to the inspector. We open up the plugin by clicking on the logo. And the first thing we need to do is to choose the camera we have been using. There's a lot of cameras supported by the plugin. We have used the Sony FS7 and SLOG3 Gamma. In the next section, we can bring down the exposure a bit because this shot is a little overexposed. Then we have the option to adjust the color temperature. So we can cool it a little. We also have the option to adjust the tint, which is the green magenta balance, but in this case it's all right, so we reset that. The next thing we need to choose is what film stock do we want to emulate. There's a lot of choice there, 19 film stocks in total. Down here in the next section, you can choose whether the film color is applied 100% or zero or anything in between. And you can choose if the contrast uh, that's corrected by the plugin should be applied zero or 100%. We leave both of these settings at 100 because we're happy with the result. The next thing down here is the grain response section where you can choose how much grain you want to have in your image uh, and if the grain should be like color noise or cl clean black and white noise. Down here you have the option to tick or untick the film size preset. What this does is with every film size you can choose here, they have adjusted those two settings, the grain size and the image softness down here. So if you select 8mm film, of course the image gets very noisy and very soft because it's a small negative. If you go to 16mm, less noisy and less soft. And if you go all the way up to 35mm full frame, it's crisp and clear and not so much grain in the image. If you want to adjust those two settings manually, instead of determined by your film size, you can uncheck that box and manually choose how much to defocus your image or how much grain you want to have in there. The next cool thing is the grain curve, because you can select how much grain gets added to the blacks, the shadows, the midtones, the highlights and the whites, so you can really fine tune where grain is showing and where it is not showing and uh, they have in their film presets already programmed different curves for different film stocks. Down here you have color wheels which is a, just a basic three-way color correction with a saturation control. The next section down here you have curves which is new for nitrate so you can adjust your contrast with curves and of course red, green and blue curves separately. And last but not least, you have a histogram and a, a very decent way by adjusting those sliders to adjust the contrast of your image. And of course, if you are using the 
three-way color correctors that are built in whatever you're doing shows down here in the histogram which is very handy one last thing up here you can export a lot of the color correction you did with film convert nitrate and you can of course load it in your camera and uh, have it on set with you let's have a look at some examples in this first one i used the plugin to give this drone footage a little bit of a retro look if you're using a supported camera you can use the plugin directly on the log footage in this example i have used the plugin to freshen up this shot of produce in the next example i went for a subtle film look but of course you can go all out with the plugin as well you can use nitrates output as a starting point for your own creative grade or you take what the plugin spits out and use it as is if time or budget doesn't allow for fancy grading. For more information about the plugin, check out my article on cinema5d.com or go to the developer's website at filmconvert.com. Suggestions, ideas, questions, please put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and Servus.